Church family and welcome to Thursday afternoon. I hope uh, your week's been going really well. I hope you've been able to find some fun things to do. You've kept dry and you've kept warm as we're really into the heart of winter now. Well, it's now time to come and read from God's Word using this book, My Rock and My Refuge. A portion of the Psalms followed by Thought and Prayer by Timothy and Kathy Keller. And today, July 16, we're going to continue reading through Psalm 80. So Psalm 80 verses 14 through to verses 19. Return to us, God Almighty. Look down from heaven and see. Watch over this fine, the root of your right hand has planted, the sun you raised up for yourself. Your vine is cut down, it is burned with fire. At your rebuke, your people perish. Let your hand rest on the man at your right hand, the son of man who you have raised up for yourself. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, Lord Almighty. Make your face shine upon us, that we may be saved. Revival How does spiritual re renewal take place? Each time God is called upon, the divine name is fuller, showing a constantly growing crescendo of prayer. Renewal also requires repentance at turning back to God. Finally, spiritual revival requires the man at your right hand. In the history of revivals of the church, God often chose to work through a dynamic anointed leader, but Jesus is the true Benjamin, the true man of the right hand, the only one who gives full access to the presence of God. And Jesus is the true vine. Only through uniting with him by faith can we be, become branches and have God's life flow into us. Through him we can be revived. Let's pray. O Jesus, make thyself to me a living bright reality more present to faith's vision keen than any outward object seen, more nearer, more intimately nigh than even the sweetest earthly tie. Amen. I hope you have a good Thursday night and I'll catch you around tomorrow. God bless.